This book, also known as, I Who Liberated the Elf World with Love Became the Sea King, in the world of elves, if you lose contact, start with a serious dating app called Lodum. Whether you're a trainer or an elf, conquer everything. Resolve all disputes with the bonds of universal love. Lotto. Explore Little Fire Dragon and unlock the form of Water Spray Dragon, Lotto. Strategy Little Silver, unlocking the power of Everlasting Rock, Lotto. Strategy for Dao, Asset Skyrocket 50 times, Lotto. Conquer Mikoli and increase your charm 50 times, Chiji burst out laughing heartily. The King of Ties, I am determined. Loto. Conquer Xiaoyao and receive the wooden knife of Yushu as a gift, Lotto. Conquer Lukia and receive fans pursued as gifts, Lotto. Conquer Zhulan and receive a gift of Ifa Yakong splitting slash, stop. This doesn't seem quite right. Keywords of the novel. I am lost in the elf world with no pop-ups, I am lost in the elf world with no pop-ups, download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter on Lost in the Elf World with no pop-ups. Chapter 1. Lotham Brand Friendship App. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Lotham Brand Friendship App hiss. Breathing fiercely, the air pierces into the lungs like a sharp sword, bringing both piercing pain and refreshing oxygen. The boy who woke up looked at the haggard woman by the hospital bed and the old man in white and red hat, knowing that he had completed his journey. Loto. Heart-to-heart -heart friendship app launches. This product is developed by Lotum LLC, intended to promote the harmonious development and prosperity of human spirits, please make more friends, the more you make, the more you gain. User. Chiji, spiritual power. 3. Feature. Bound Aura, communication skills skyrocket, surge, surge, everyone loves to revolve around you, social advice. You will definitely fall in love with yourself, right? Chiji touched his head and realized that the Heart to Heart app was a project he was working on in his past life, and it was a social networking app. As for whether it's serious or not. It depends on the user. Anyway, their boss is promoting it as a canon artifact when he was working overtime on this app. He heard the sound of electricity and then crossed over. Is this wave the essence of app, synchronized traversal? Speaking of how to use this dating app sensing Chiji's confusion, the app began to take action. Loto. Information scanning, target. Dr. Daiki, relationship. Descendants with high expectations, social suggestion. There seems to be an unusual relationship between him and you. Show him your free will. He will definitely not let you down. In this crazy world dominated by elves, only by becoming a trainer can one live a wonderful life. Trainers are the freest people in the world. The original owner of this body was trying to become a trainer and learn how to use the body of a bug catcher to capture elves, but was killed by a unicorn bug. In order to not work overtime like in my previous life and die suddenly, living freely. Following the guidance of the app, Chi Ji overcame her past social anxiety and exclaimed excitedly. Doctor. Can you give me a chance? I want to become a trainer. Upon hearing this sudden request, Dr. Oki asked in a deep voice. Xiao Ji, why do you become a trainer? Chi Ji replied without hesitation. Because. The trainer is the freest person in the world. Buzzing, in an instant, Dr. Daiki was struck by a strong aura. His pupils were trembling and his body was trembling, he couldn't believe what he heard. Unexpectedly. It is exactly the same as what the man once said. At this moment, Dr. Oki's red hat on top of his head seemed to sense and tremble slightly. He couldn't help but burst into tears and said. Good little wisdom. With your words, I will definitely not let you down. Since you want to become a trainer, then I will fulfill you. Chi Ji was overjoyed. He didn't expect his app to be so awesome. After discharge, Dr. Daiki immediately processed the training procedures for Chi Ji and arrived at the research institute. 
The Research Institute, a group of little fire dragons, Johnny Turtles, and Garlic King are running around. Chiji Jichi App, observing the information of each elf. As a new trainer, he needs to choose one as his partner. While all the elves were playing happily, a melancholic little dragon huddled in the corner like a mushroom. When his gaze fell on the little dragon, a terrifying message appeared. Loto. Information scanning, target. Melancholy little fire dragon, female, level. 12. Elemental affinity. Fire 10. Relationship. A man who will never get it, P.S. This mostly refers to the positioning of Qi Zhi in the eyes of the target, social suggestion. It believes that you will definitely not choose it, so if you choose it, it will be overjoyed and repay you fiercely. Grass. Level 12. Take off. Qi Zhi was among a bunch of level 5 or 6 elves when he suddenly discovered a hidden level 12 boss. He didn't care about anything else and immediately waved at the little dragon. Hey! Friend, come here! The little dragon shook its head around. After confirming that there were no other small fire dragons around, he uncertain pointed to himself with his paws. That's right, it's you. I want to be a partner with you. In an instant, little fire dragon's big eyes were filled with tears and fiercely rushed into Qi Zhi's arms. Loto. Little fire dragon feels your kindness. Your relationship has escalated to a friend you have been searching for you have initially formed a bond, unlocking ability, waveguide power eye, waveguide power eye. You can preliminarily sense each other's hearts in an instant, a strong bond connects the two. Chiji tightly hugged the little dragon and felt the power of the waveguide inside. This tightly connected feeling is really amazing. Dr. Daiki patted Chi-Chi's shoulder and smiled. Xiao Ji, you really enjoy challenging yourself. This is because your aptitude is too poor, you can't even learn fireworks, and the elf that has been neglected for ten years. I think you must be interested in it at first glance, because you want to pursue the limits of a trainer. Dot. Chi-Ji maintained a frozen smile, politely put down the little dragon, and decisively took a step back to widen the distance. Gone. No wonder it's level 12. I've been hanging up in kindergarten for 10 years. In two more years, hair will grow on my head. Friend, in order to prevent you from being killed in future duels, I can only endure the pain and give you up. Suddenly, little fire dragon Wei Chu Baba withdrew into the corner. It had already known such a result, it was just an empty celebration at this moment. Chiji's mind and spirit drama shock. He actually empathized with the loneliness and sadness of the other person like the sea. This feeling is so familiar to Chiji that he empathizes with it. Because he grew up in a single parent family in his past life, his difficult family background and the ridicule of his peers have developed his insecure and solitary personality making him a solitary and socially fearful person from childhood to adulthood. He always silently bears everything, makes his own efforts, closes his heart, and only wants to work hard and do his job well, to repay his mother who raised him. But in his heart, he never longed for a close friend to save him from this loneliness. For this reason, Chiji seemed to see his own shadow on this little dragon. He couldn't help but take a step forward and tearfully picked it up, shedding sincere tears. Sorry, I slipped my hand just now. I really want to be with you. Gah. Little Fire Dragon was flattered and looked at Qi Zhi with great uncertainty. Qi Zhi nodded solemnly, as if embarking on a redemption and experiencing a rebirth. That's right, I've decided it's you. Little Fire Dragon tears gush forth. Ten years. It waited for ten years and finally welcomed its own partner. Loto. Your true feelings of being easy to get, make your bond surge, surge, surge. Your relationship has escalated to a genuine partner, unlocking ability waveguide force 2 waveguide power 2. You can sense each other's hearts while little fire dragon has been waiting for his partner for ten years, while Chiji has gone through more than twenty years of loneliness, eager to change his former self. Bang, at this moment, 
the bond between the two is unstoppable and rapidly growing. Strong, strong, strong. Who else can TMD stop such sincere and strong bonds? Dr. Oki was also moved by such a touching scene. In addition to being moved, he never forgot to remind. Since you have become a trainer, Xiaoji, you should be ready for the great parade in three months' time. I am looking forward to your performance. Three three months later. Chiji's memory gradually emerged in his mind ten years old is the age at which regular alliance legitimate trainers receive elves. At the age of sixteen, all reserve trainers are about to embark on a journey called the Great Parade. All trainers need to travel through countless dangerous areas and challenge eight martial arts halls in this journey to become formal professional trainers. And this ritual is said to have a special significance in ancient times. In short, it means that someone else has been starting for six years and still has three months to prepare the journey is not about eating, drinking, and sightseeing. Trainers who are attacked and killed by wild elves on the road have several trucks every year hand over the trainer qualification certificate in hand, Chiji smiled and said. Doctor, can you help me cancel my qualification certificate? Dr. Daiki smiled reliably like a mountain and said. Xiaoji, you are so humorous. Go ahead and rest assured. I will take care of your mother, Dot. Three months later. The boundless blue sea, beneath the shimmering calm sea, is quietly surging with waves. A magnificent cruise ship is breaking through the surging sea ahead and heading towards the distant Fanyuan continent. On the deck of the breaking waves, a young man wearing a red hat is gazing into the distance. The most prominent feature of this person is the fiery and bright red hat on his head, as well as the fiery and passionate eyes. This young man is Chiji. And beside him, a little dragon was knitting a sweater. Over the past three months, Chiji has undergone hellish training on Huohong in order to avoid being killed by wild elves during his journey. Knitting sweaters, cleaning floors, washing clothes, brushing dishes every skill is amazing, and every skill is incredibly practical. These are all unique mysteries that can only be driven by bonds. Cough, although on the surface Chiji only allowed Huahong to do household chores for three months, it actually contains profound mysteries. Life is cultivation. During these three months, relying on the advice provided by the app, Chi Ji helped Hua Hong massage her body every day, personally fed her food, and slept together as a social anxiety programmer in his past life. Chi Ji was always a very introverted person who didn't express his emotions in front of others. However, in this life, when facing different species of fire dragons, he found that he could actually open up and treat them sincerely. Perhaps there are too many similarities between the two, and unconsciously their relationship has become incredibly close. The bond between the two has turned into an incredibly good friend, successfully unlocking Waveguide Power 4. Everything went smoothly, the only strange thing was Wahong, this old little fire dragon, has really grown hair on its head in theory, as a type of fire-breathing lizard, the little fire dragon race should not grow fur Chiji once asked Dr. Oki about this situation in a very puzzling way. Dr. Daiki's answer is. Perhaps it's a genetic mutation. Elves are magical creatures, and strong thoughts can sometimes cause changes in their growth. For example, the race of blood-winged flying dragons evolved wings through cell mutations due to their strong desire for wings. Perhaps this little dragon really wants to grow hair like you, ha ha ha. The answer from the app is even simpler and more rough. Loto. This is a miracle of bondage, Huahong has a bold idea. Chiji is speechless. Turns out bonds can also promote gene mutations. Generally speaking, elves pursue sharp claws and strong limbs. Fire Red seems to have added a dot to something strange to, the cruise ship made a deep sound. Looking at the rising industrial city in front of him, Chi Ji took a deep breath. He understood that his journey was about to officially begin. Before leaving, Dr. Oki handed his red hat to Chi Chi. Xiao Ji, I'll leave this red hat to you for now. Next time we meet, we need to become an excellent trainer. Straw Hat Kid, understand. 
This is Red Riding Hood's little wit. Buckling the hat on his head, Chiji smiled confidently. Ready to go viral, it's time for the world to know our existence. Gah! The little dragon, who was knitting a sweater, looked at the city in front of him with confidence. The legend of the Red Riding Hood boy starts from this continent. If you think the protagonist is too disdainful, you can take a few minutes to persist in ten chapters. Emperor, the next is my specialty. I will definitely not let you down. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Experience the value of ties. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Experience the value of ties Looking at this emerging industrialized city, Chiji felt a surging wave. Among the major regions of the Elf Alliance, Fanyuan has always been a relatively primitive and backward rural area. But the scene before us proves the rise of change. This ancient and primitive continent is undergoing the baptism of advanced modernity under the leadership of some groups, aligning with the highly industrialized Gaelor region a group of humanoid elves are gathered on the shore at the port of Kanaz city, competing to carry various luggage and cargo. These elves are all known for their physical strength, known as the Hercules elves. They replaced outdated manpower and took on the position of lifting physical labor. And those replaced humans have all gone to the assembly line of the German company's factory to screw. As soon as he got off the ship, Chiji immediately felt relaxed. A purple skin humanoid elf had already taken large and small packages from Chiji's hand, waiting for Chiji's guidance. With just one glance, the app provided information. Loto. Information scanning, target. Wild fearless boy, male, level. 17. Element Affinity Relationship Customer, Social Suggestion It is currently serving you, remember to give a tip. Unexpectedly lacking elemental affinity. Chiji couldn't help feeling sad for the other party. Apart from being stronger, such elves are no different from humans however, it has to be said that this elf is indeed very agile in doing physical work, and various large and small bags can be carried without breathing. However, shortly after they left, Chiji was stopped by Fang Yuan Customs. Miss Jun Sha, with her beautiful blue hair, said seriously. Sorry, you are carrying non-local biological products and are suspected of species invasion. Obviously, there was a problem with the feed and energy blocks given to him by Dr. Oki. I saw Chiji calmly take out his trainer qualification certificate and smile. I am a trainer can you give me some face? The trainer is a top human in the league, so it should be easy to unleash the ability to save face, right? Three minutes later, Chichi walked into the city of Kanaz in poverty. His personal treatment is limited to the Guandu region, and trainers from other regions will enjoy double the fine treatment at Fanyuan. At the Great Parade Lottery Ceremony, Chiji was determined to win the remote and impoverished Fangyuan area he seriously suspects that this is the doctor's secret operation to keep him away. In short, trainers who go on overseas expeditions always receive valuable professional qualifications due to the numerous difficulties they face, hey, Red Riding Hood kid over there, you're also a trainer from out of town, right? Upon hearing the words, Chiji turned back. I saw a young man wearing a purple sportswear, showing a mature demeanor, holding a black picture book and scanning towards the fiery red. The other party also appeared to be a trainer from out of town, but as Chiji looked at him, he continued to think for himself. My name is Shinji and I am a trainer from Shineo. I heard that German company is recruiting external recruitment agents. Would you like to take a look together? Loto. Information scanning, target. Shinji. Relationship. Interesting trainer, social suggestion. This person seems to be very powerful, he seems to be interested in you, the corner of Chiji's mouth slightly raised. I didn't expect to have thighs to hug as soon as I arrived at Fangyuan. Is there anything more enjoyable than that? Okay. Let's go together. Drop, as he spoke, Shinji's guidebook seemed to have collected enough information and made a crisp sound. Race. Little Fire Dragon, Health Level. 
14. Attribute. Fire, elemental affinity. Fire 16, individual value. Slag, introduction. Elves with the power of flames have a fire burning on their tails when they are born. When the fire on their tails goes out, their life ends. They are naturally fond of hot things. Upon seeing the analysis results, Shinji immediately turned his face. What's going on? I thought you had some understanding of bringing the constant stone to the elves, but I didn't expect your elves to only be at level 14. What a useless thing. Upon hearing Shinji belittle Huahong, Chiji immediately wanted to slap him. You guy, how dare you insult my friend who is so good that he doesn't speak, Loto. The other party has seen your strength clearly. The relationship has decreased to useless thing. Dot. This time Chiji is even angrier. Gone. The useless thing is actually talking about me. Chiji is very dissatisfied. In the past three months, he has been able to improve Huahong by two levels, which is already a secondary development driven by the bond miracle. Do I really use it well? After discovering Chi Chi's true level, Shinji seemed to withdraw his invitation and turned around to leave. Chiji looked at the cold back of the other person and gritted his teeth, almost saying, 30 years in the East and 30 years in the West, don't deceive young people into poverty. Punished penniless, Chiji had to enter the Orange Blossom Forest to seek the gifts of nature. It's impossible to work because I died from overtime in my past life. He doesn't want to work for capitalists in German companies. Of course, the main reason is that he doesn't want to see Shinji at the job fair Sasha, walking through the dense forest, the sound of footsteps and leaves rubbing against each other keeps Chiji's spirit tense. Although it is only the periphery with the lowest risk factor in the Orange Blossom Forest, Chiji also feels threatened. This is his first time playing wild, everything is full of unknowns and novelty. Suddenly, in the distant treetops of the forest, Chiji saw an orange fruit. The app will immediately lock it. Lotto. Target scanning. Glancing at Lotto. Identified as, orange fruit, dot. Direct consumption can quickly restore physical fitness orange fruit, a type of tree fruit, is a precious wild resource. It is the raw material for the industrial product, wound medicine, of German company. The recycling price fluctuates around 100 union coins per coin. The corner of Chiji's mouth slightly rises as long as you harvest this fruit, tonight's dinner will be ready. At this moment, something angrily stood in front of them, trying to stop them from developing its a terrifying bug with a huge red spike on its forehead and a foot-long length. Loto. Information scanning, target. Wild spiny tail insects, level. 6. Element affinity. Relationship. Dam invader, social suggestion. Do you understand insect language? If you don't understand, give it a beating first. Looking at the lifeless thing in front of him, Chi Ji smiled. Although he possesses the power of a waveguide, he can communicate with the other party. But how could he miss this rare opportunity to exercise? Fire Red. Start your performance. It's time to showcase your cultivation achievements. Ga. An orange red dragon flew out and fiercely approached the stinging beetle. Insect type elves generally have low intelligence. The newborn calf of the stinging beetle is not afraid of tigers, so it shoots out a white, sticky object with just one bite and smears it onto its fiery red face. At this moment, Chi Ji drank loudly. Quickly avoid. Ga. As soon as the three word truth was spoken, Hua Hong immediately dodged according to the direction conveyed by Chi Ji's mind. Quickly avoid these three words, which contain thousands of words that communicate with each other, and can help Hua Hong accurately understand Chi Ji's intentions and make a perfect response. The power of the waveguide in the fourth realm is terrifying. After easily avoiding the attack of the stinging beetle, Fire Red is about to start counterattacking. In the past three months of cultivation, initially Chi Ji was unable to teach Huahong how to use Spark no matter what. 
Until later he understood that friction generates heat. Rub your fiery belly 10,000 times a day with care, let it feel the burning sensation. Three months later, Hua Hong finally awakened the true meaning of flames. At this moment, the fiery red is frantically rubbing against the belly, trying to grasp that burning sensation. Here we go. We're coming. That's the feeling. G.A. A mouthful of sparks overflowed from the fiery mouth like a spray of water. Talent skilled spark, although it may seem like an ordinary spark, in reality, Mars contains a fiery and terrifying passion, elevating the temperature and killing power of the flames to a higher level. Feeling the flickering flames in the red mouth of the fire, the stinging beetle understood that its life had come to an end huh, a mouthful of old flame. Second. This is the value of bonds. The first battle between the elves was a complete victory, and Chiji picked orange fruits and smiled like an old farmer with a bountiful harvest. Sure enough, as long as you put in your heart, there are no useless elves in this world. He 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 he. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 The heartbeat between life and death is the best. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 The heartbeat between life and death is the best picking the orange fruits, just as Chi-Chi finished his wild game and planned to return to the city buzzing, an ominous voice appeared in his ear. Looking up, a huge yellow wasp was hovering above. Loto Information scanning, target. Wild big needle B, level. 16, element affinity. Relationship. Today's dinner, social suggestion. This guy is a carnivorous person. Because of the development and communication between alliances. Some elves have also begun cross-regional species invasions. This carnivorous giant hornet from Chi-Chi's hometown is one of them. Looking at the big hornet in the air, Chi-Chi shouted inwardly. Waveguide, be with me. Sacrificing the power of the waveguide, Chi-Chi shouted loudly at the giant hornet. Friend. Please listen to me. I want to get along well with you all. Your son's incident was just an accident, give me a chance to take a step back and explore the world. Zizi, Chi-Chi apologized while spraying some medicine on the stinging beetle, hoping to alleviate the awkward situation. Sixteen-level elves are not joking. For those with a level higher than fiery red, Chi-Chi will always give respect to the strong lot Tom could not resist roast. Loto. They're not father and son, you just attacked their dinner, they just thought you were more delicious. And your waveguide power has only unlocked the fiery red part, and you cannot communicate with other elves yet. Dot. Chi-Chi suddenly understood. His waveguide power is a castrated version, and it can only be limited to a single-to-single -single limit. That is to say, if he wants to communicate with other elves, he still needs to retake the strategy and this big hornet may have smelled the scorching scent of the stinging beetle and flew over to forage I, TM. Don't care. Fire red, prepare for battle. During the conversation, the big hornet that captured food information waved its gun arm without hesitation to kill Chi Ji. The speed of this dive. The force of this puncture. It's like a killing plane, it's not something that humans can stop. G.A. At this moment, sensing the danger of Qi Ji, Hua Hong bravely jumped out and let out a deep and powerful dragon roar. This is, talent skilled cry. The sharp sound stimulated the sharp senses of the hornet and successfully caught its attention. It began to turn its gun head and launch an attack towards Hua Hong. Seizing the right moment, the fiery red began to gather rich fire element energy in the mouth. Huh. Guided by Chi-Ji's thoughts, a large swarm of Mars swept towards the giant hornet in the air. Pai Li Pa After the body of the giant hornet made a burning sound from roasting, it immediately climbed up to the sky to avoid the invasion of heat waves. Will this giant hornet recoil from such a blow? No, no. This aroused its stronger ferocity, and immediately launched another dive towards the fiery red after dodging the flames. At this moment, Hua Hong has just finished venting her anger and is in a state of recovery. 
Seeing this, Qi Ji let out a loud shout. Quickly avoid. Avoid it quickly. At the moment when the three-word truth is spoken, countless words of inexhaustible information are strengthened by the app, transmitted to the fiery heart through the connection of the soul like an electric current. Jumping up and down, jumping left and right, the fiery red heart has a sharp sense of receiving the mind transmitted by Qi Ji, dodging the attack of the big needle bee. The scene in this scene is like Qi Ji manipulating Huahong to play a live-action ACT game. Three months of household chores have honed the fiery movements with unparalleled precision. Seemingly ordinary household chores can actually have a good exercise effect on the coordination ability and precision of movements in the fiery red. So don't underestimate housewives. But although Qi Ji focuses his spiritual power to the limit, Sometimes the attributes of the character cannot keep up with the player's operational consciousness, and it is still of no use. Although Hua Hong has a close understanding with Qi Ji, its physical fitness is far inferior to that of the two evolved giant hornet. Seeing that Hua Hong's body was exhausted, he was about to be pierced by the venomous needle of the giant hornet few, a fist-sized stone roared towards the giant hornet. It's a throwing stone from trainer Qi Ji. Hey. Bastard, don't underestimate us as newcomers. However, with the dynamic vision and agile speed of the giant hornet, it easily avoided this blow. But Qi Ji's behavior angered the hornet. The hatred value has been transferred, and the hornet immediately turns its gun head to kill Qi Ji. Faced with the fierce venomous thrust of the hornet, Qi Ji's heart beat violently and he had to concentrate to avoid the attack. Lotto User danger detected. Activate combat mode. A strong current surged through Qi Ji's brain, and he instantly felt his mental response increase fourfold, or even threefold. But even with superhuman reflexes, Qi Ji, without a superhuman body, would find it difficult to sustain for long. He circled with the big hornet while shouting loudly. I may not be able to hold on to the fiery red. Run quickly. Remember to take care of yourself. Bang, at this moment, three months of genuine emotions surged into the heart of Huahong. As a dead programmer, Chi Chi actually had no friends in his past life. Although he admits to being tricked by apps when he is with Huahong, the accumulated emotions he experiences over time are not false. Coming into this world, he felt the feeling of bondage for the first time. For the reborn Chi Chi, Having this kind of experience makes life complete, ga. Feeling the true feelings of Qi Ji, Hua Hong instantly burst into tears, unable to frantically rub her belly, chasing after the big hornet and spewing fire. Despite its firepower, the sparks it emits are too short. Shortness is deadly to both men and female dragons. Not enough. This feeling is not enough. Crazy red friction on the belly, brewing that scorching sensation, and then using endless and sincere emotion spray it. Bang, in an instant, the sparks in the fiery mouth shot wildly, exploded, and fiercely. Spray it into the air at a distance of more than 10 meters in one breath, fiercely killing the giant hornet. The Secret Spark Spray The giant hornet spewed by flames instantly lost its balance. Seize the flaw, Qi Ji turns around and it's like a spin kick. Go to your master's house. Eat my new Superman function legs. This kick kicked the big hornet hard on the head and kicked it off the spot. Lotto. The accelerating heartbeat between life and death is the best. The bond between you has strengthened. Fire Red has comprehended the mysteries. Spark shooting, dot. Patting her hot feet, Qi Ji's mood at this moment is even hotter. He happily picked up Hua Hong. Fire Red. You actually understood the mystery. Remember that feeling just now. I knew you were the best. Aoi is a skill that incorporates one's own unique understanding and utilizes various techniques and insights to transform on the basis of innate skills. Talent is the raw material, mystery is the finished product. Elves who can comprehend the mysteries are all dragons and phoenixes among the elves. 
Huo Hong relied on the terrifying binding force to bombard a special insight into the spark skill and comprehend the mysteries. Ga. At this moment, encouraged by Qiji, it blushed and nodded. The feeling just now was really exciting suddenly, the fallen hornet flew up again. Just now, a fiery spark shot out, only hitting it to the point of remaining health. Chiji's foot dealt approximately 1% of the damage. The big hornet can still rise again. At this moment, a green sword shadow startled the swan and gave the big needle bee a fatal repair. Chiji was suddenly surprised. Pop 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 accompanied by crisp applause, a rebellious figure appeared behind him. Perfect cooperation. I've been observing you for a long time, you two have a great set. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 the red-headed character has no bad people. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 The red-headed character has no bad people following the sound, Chiji suddenly turned back. I saw a 16 or 17-year-old, with a cold and rebellious red-haired young man walking out with a four-legged carrot with a big leaf on its head. Chiji was a bit cautious, but the other party secretly observed him for so long that he didn't even notice. But just now it was the other party who manipulated the four-legged radish and gave the big hornet a fatal blow. It can be seen that the other party wants to save him at a critical moment. Thinking so, Chiji's inner guard relaxed and he couldn't help but feel grateful. Thank you, stranger. My name is Chiji, Chihong Chiji, Zhiji Zhiji. And you? Hmm. Red Red. This name gives him a strange impact. The young man with red hair was taken aback at the words and then came back to his senses with a smile. My name is Ian, the world's number one trainer in the future, a self-reliant wild powerhouse. I just observed your battle and think you have the potential to become my subordinate. Do you want to consider joining me? I promise you will develop. Having collected enough information, the app began to take action. Loto. Information scanning, target. Silver, relationship. Capable and capable generals that can develop, social advice. A arrogant and conceited guy with unparalleled ambition and dominance. He is very interested in you now and can take the opportunity to explore. After reading the other party's message, Chi Ji smiled. So I met my colleague. Is this kid trying to trick me? Chiji immediately raised the corner of his mouth slightly and replied calmly. We can collaborate. Cooperation is obviously an equal relationship. The corners of Silver's mouth also slightly raised, revealing a seductive smile. You're quite backbone. I appreciate your attitude, but you'll soon be impressed by my charm and strength. As he spoke, Yin reached out to Huahong, who had just fought a big battle and was exhausted. A light green light flashed by, and the fiery red suddenly felt full of vitality. Ga. It touched its head and couldn't figure out this magical situation. Loto. This is the power of the everlasting rock. A magical special ability. Only those recognized by Changban Forest will possess numerous magical effects the power of Changpan Chiji discovered that silver is not an easy kid. But when it came to the Changban forest, he suddenly remembered, wasn't that the forest near his hometown. Found the topic and started the strategy. Ha ha ha, it seems that you are also from the Guandu region, and I am also from Guandu. We are fellow villagers. Ah. Yin glanced at the little dragon and seemed to understand something, then said with a mischievous smile. He 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 he, I see. Your elves also stole from the research institute. Ah, uh, rescue them. We are indeed fellow practitioners. Lotto. Silver feels like you are of the same kind, and their sense of identification with you is strengthened. Favorability plus three. Dot. 
Chiji didn't expect to casually strike up a conversation and uncover the other party's incredible criminal facts. This kid stole the elves from the research institute and sneaked into the Fanyuan area. Thinking of this, Chi Ji glanced at the four-legged radish. He remembered that it seemed to be from the grass imperial family in the urban area, Loto. Information scanning, target. Silver chrysanthemum leaves, female, level. 12, elemental affinity. Wood 18, relationship. Humph, social suggestion. It doesn't seem to like the way you're too close to silver. These elves, named Yusangia, are signature elves from various regions and are very suitable for beginner trainers to cultivate. Of course, most people cannot obtain it, only Alliance legitimate lineages have the opportunity to receive it. People like Chiji and Yin either gain local doctoral knowledge or go to research institutes to rescue Chiji carefully glanced at the chrysanthemum leaf. Its red eyes were filled with a guarded expression. Chi Zhiji felt that although this elf was stolen by Silver, the relationship between the two seems to be good. He also pondered that each alliance's judiciary is independent, and the thieves in Guandu should be considered legal citizens in Fanyuan, right? So Chi Zhi gave a haha and continued. Ha, huh, it seems that we all came here because of the elves. It was the elves who brought us together. What a wonderful fate! Upon hearing this, Ian burst into laughter. Well said. It's all fate. All right, your elf should have recovered. Come with me, let's work together today to achieve great success and ensure mutual development. Do you want to do something big? Why does this tone sound a bit like a kidnapper? Seeing Chiji's hesitant expression, Ian explained. Don't worry, it's not about robbing the friendly store, it's just taking you to a good place with treasures. The only problem is that there's an unfriendly friend there. Now Chiji understands. Gone. So this kid is looking for a thug to help him with things. Generally speaking, places with natural gifts such as tree fruits will be guarded by powerful elves. Seeing Chi Ji's hesitant expression, Yin Ji Jiang said. Why, don't you have confidence in your own strength? I'm not joining forces with you because my strength is inferior to yours, but because your little fire dragon's attributes are more advantageous. Upon hearing this, Chi Ji probably understood that the one guarding the treasure should be an insect-type elf. In the past three months, Chiji has also been studying some elf knowledge well. Although he would recognize the stinger beetle as the son of the giant hornet in extremely tense situations. But he at least knows the skills of fire, which are effective against the elves of insect-type constitutions, while the skills of grass-type are not effective against insect-type constitutions. Chiji's little plan in his heart was calculated. Since both Ian and that four-legged radish can escape and scathe, even if he can't fight and run away, there shouldn't be any problem. Seeking wealth and prosperity insurance, now is the time to strive for the development of a bicycle to a motorcycle. Okay. Then let's have a vote. But let's talk about it first. If I feel like the situation is not right, I won't necessarily accompany you to the end. Seeing that Chiji readily agreed, Yin waved his hand and said. Ha, I knew you had the guts. Let's go. Lotto. Yin feels like you are a straightforward person, and his favorability towards you is plus three. Chiji also doesn't know how this unknown plus three was evaluated. Anyway, your own strategy progress is good. Actually, it's Lodum who's just saying hi based on his feelings. As he walked, Chiji felt the surrounding woods become silent. The original insect chirping gradually disappeared, and there were fewer insect spirits nearby. Suddenly, Yin pulled Chiji's arm and pulled him behind a big tree to cover his figure, cautiously pointing towards a small tree ahead. Following the direction pointed by the silver finger, what caught Chiji's eye was an insect type elf with a tall body size of about one person, covered in brown hard armor. It has thick and short feet and slender arms on its huge oval trunk, two large white horns covered in small thorns on its head, and a large mouth that opens and closes on both sides of the trunk, each with a row of toothbrush-like dense teeth. 
It looks like a monster in a B. Level movie, which is truly terrifying. Loto. Information scanning, target. Wild Kairos, level. 18, element affinity. Relationship. Potential enemy, social suggestion. Za asterisk asterisk Ling is a hero among insect type elves. As long as it finds out, go straight or run. Is anyone watching? End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Don't eat sour radishes. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 5. Don't eat sour radishes gone. A level 18 monster. Both strength and defense are incredibly powerful. Chiji glared at silver. Take a grass type miscellaneous fish at level 12 and come talk to yourself about business, isn't it a venture capital expert? Silver awkwardly smiled and hissed, pointing to the low tree behind Kairos. I saw this Kuros being domineering and powerful, emitting a powerful life aura that intimidated nearby insect spirits. No elf dared to approach the dwarf tree behind it. Chiji observed carefully and saw a string of crystal clear emerald green fruits hanging from the low tree branches behind Kairos. This cluster of fruits is strung together like three small tomatoes on sticks fruits, giving off an attractive fragrance. At a glance, Loto. Identified as, Luo Zigua, dot. A fruit that contains a strong woody element sent it's a tree fruit, and it's not just an ordinary tree fruit like an orange fruit. It's some rare high dot end product. Looking straight at the tree fruit, Chiji knew he was going to develop today. Seeing no movement from Chiji, Yin talked about his tactics. Don't worry, when you use the little fire dragon to confront me head dot on, I will use the wild flower's flank to repair the knife. As long as we work together, we will definitely be foolproof. Crazy flower. Chiji glanced at the four-legged turnip, and roast in his heart that it was the second name in the world. I would call it Yi Lu simply in concisely touching the fiery red head, Qi Ji said in a deep voice. Old buddy, do you have confidence? The fiery red sensed the breath of Kairos in the distance. Although it was somewhat uncertain, it still nodded to Qi Ji. Because it never wants to disappoint Qi Ji. Sensing the fiery red thoughts, Qi Ji and Yin looked at each other and decided to do it. Ha, huh, the bright red fire element quickly condenses in the fiery mouth. It rubs its belly frantically, trying to brew memories of the previous feeling. Friction heat generation accumulate spray. The mystery is once again revealed. A flame snake shot out from a distance of over 10 meters. This strong and powerful fire snake inspires Silver's heart. What a great fire! Kalos, caught off guard, was hit by flames, and his brown hard shell sizzled as it baked. Although its shell is very hard and can withstand the physical attacks of most insect spirits in the forest, it has little resistance to the high dot temperature burns of fire elements. But this Kairos is a level 18 powerhouse, and unlike the crispy bee, it has a very strong vitality and is not easily knocked down by a fiery red move. Carrying the fiery red spray of the fire snake, its sturdy and powerful legs splashed soil on the ground, charging towards the fiery red with astonishing momentum against its big horns. This speed is much faster than running with fiery red legs. But speed in battle is not an absolute physical speed. Relying on the mutual prediction of Qi Ji's mind, Hua Hong dodged ahead of time and easily avoided the impact of wild Kuras. Immediately after, Kairo swung a big horn on his head and fiercely clamped it, cutting off the trees that were as thick as a bucket behind the fiery red. With a single blow, Kalos, who was burned, became extremely angry and continued to use the big horn on his head to launch a continuous pincer attack on the fiery red. Qi Ji is focused and constantly uses his heart to command Hua Hong to dodge flexibly. Although this Kairos is physically better than Hua Hong, with the help of Qi Ji, Hua Hong can still dodge the opponent's attacks with great danger and occasionally leave a scratch under the opponent's hard shell with its small claws. Just as Hua Hong was fighting with Kairos, the nearby chrysanthemum leaf wild flower vigorously waved the leaves on its head. 
A green leaf blade broke through the air and accurately slashed towards Kairos like a flying knife. This sharp cut is very high, and it can be seen that Ian usually exercises this chrysanthemum leaf well. After eating this flying leaf blade, Kairos suddenly felt a sharp force of wooden elements invading his body. But the effect was not good, Kairos didn't even look back at the attacker. Sensing the danger of fiery red, Chiji became furious. Gone. Are you too embarrassed to let us beat T? We can't handle it anymore. Ian didn't expect her chrysanthemum grass leaf's attack to pull her hips so hard, and her face couldn't hold her tongue. Change tactics. Let me hold on, you're ready to launch a massive attack. During the battle between Hua Hong and Kairos, Quang Hua fiercely accelerated and sprinted over, using Bimpact to hit Kairos head dot on. Kairos's figure stumbled, and Hua Hong took the opportunity to quickly distance herself. Release an invisible force from the hateful wild flower, enveloping its body. Yes, superpower, reflection wall. Using this move, Kairos felt like his body was trapped in an air quagmire, becoming full of obstacles. An invisible barrier blocks its attack. But this doesn't affect its ability to crush the little one in front of it. The huge insect horns crazily collide with the wild flower, leaving it covered in scars. But a faint green light constantly appears on it, making it always stand firm. It is the power of Chong Pan. Silver in the distance uses the power of the evergreen to milk its chrysanthemum leaves. The combination of reflection wall and everlasting force makes it as strong as a mountain. Ha, huh, at this moment, a scorching fiery snake leapt out twice and fiercely bit on Kuras. Taking advantage of the chrysanthemum leaves to attract firepower, Hua Hong gains the opportunity to gather elemental power in the gaps and uses spark jet again. After two powerful shots, Kairos finally smelled the burning fragrance emanating from his body. Feeling that continuing to entangle would be life.threatening, its primitive instinct made it abandon the fruit tree and flee towards the distance. Seeing the fleeing Kairos, Ian looked at Luo Zigua and couldn't help but laugh wildly. Ha ha ha. We're developed. We're developed. This is a tree fruit that contains pure wood energy. Whether taken directly or made into energy blocks, it has many benefits for grass type elves. Dot. Chiji didn't say anything, just silently looked at the other person. Ian coughed awkwardly, restrained his excited smile, and regained his arrogant and evil demeanor. MMM cough, look. This is the complete victory of joint tactics under my command. Lotto. You and Silver fight side by side. Silver feels the joy of victory. Favorite rating plus 10. Although these values are all based on intuition, there is no doubt that their help has made Ian have a great liking for Qi Zhi. At this moment, looking at Luo Zigua hanging alone on the tree, Ian calmly said. Cough cough, Xiao Qi, why don't you give me this fruit? I have a dedicated way to maximize its benefits and ensure our development together. Of course, if you're not confident, you can follow along. Having played games with character guides, you know that choosing to trust the other person at this time is a key influence point. There's no need for app reminders, Chiji said with a slight upward smile. Oh, what are you talking about? We are friends, of course I believe you. Silver suddenly startled, his pupils trembled. As a solitary guest from afar, he suddenly gained unconditional trust from others. This feeling TMD, this guy Ian fiercely patted Chi Zhi's shoulder and said solemnly. Good brother, since you look up to me so much, I won't let you down. Let's meet tomorrow at the old place where we first met. Lotto. Your trust deals a critical blow to silver. Likelihood plus 66. Your relationship has been elevated to trustable guy. Chiji chuckled inwardly. Gal game or something, he hasn't played before suddenly, the app sent another message. You and Ian have formed a preliminary bond friends will share each other's abilities, unlocking ability, everlasting power I, everlasting power I. Using one's own spiritual power, 
it can help elves quickly recover their physical abilities in non-combat situations. Although it was just a beggar's version of the everlasting power, Chiji instantly understood this time were really going to develop. While Chiji was feeling extremely happy, he suddenly sensed a very unfriendly gaze. I saw the chrysanthemum leaves and wild flowers staring at him with a plump and righteous expression. Loto. Crazy flower seems jealous. I like you.33. Your relationship has dropped to disgusting red hat. Dot. Ah. Chiji felt inexplicable for a moment. Can this also lead to cross species jealousy? Watching the wild flower wriggling away from Yin's side, he muttered to himself. Sour Radish this book is about to be renamed, I Lost Connection in the Elf World. Please be familiar with it in advance, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Ultimate Skill of Two Hearts and Two Intentions You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 The Ultimate Skill of Two Hearts and Two Intentions, What? Accommodation in the Elf Center costs money. Chi Ji, who arrived at the center of the Kinez Elves, listened incredulously to Miss Joey's explanation in front of him. I saw her serious and upright. Oh, I'm really sorry. As you are a trainer registered in the Guandu Alliance, the free service scope is only limited to Guandu. Our Fangyuan Elf Center only provides free services for trainers in the Fangyuan region. Dot. Chiji trembled as he pinched the trainer qualification certificate in his hand. He thought he had become a trainer and turned over to become a master. However, he didn't expect that this master was limited by the Guandu area, and once he left the Guandu area, he would pay for accommodation on a daily basis gone. Now he finally understood why the lucky ones who fought locally were overjoyed at the lottery ceremony, while the unlucky ones who went overseas were all crying and losing face. Just as Chiji was in an awkward situation due to being short of money, a cold young man with a stinky face walked in. Looking back, Chiji realized that the one who came was indeed Shinji Shinji, the divine young man. Seeing the other person's abnormally bulging leather bag, Chiji knew that this kid had developed. Seeing Chi Chi standing in front of the front desk, with the wisdom of Shinji, one could probably guess the predicament the other party was facing. I saw Shinji pointing outside the door and enthusiastically guiding Chi Chi. What's wrong, Red Riding Hood? There's an economic problem. When I passed by the Devon Company building, I found an overpass over there that looks very similar to you. Chiji smiled slightly and politely thanked him. Oh, thank you, by the way, how do you know my name is Xiaoji? But there's no need to add any red hat prefix, just call me Chiji. Chiji. For some reason, this name made Shinji sound a bit mesmerized. When he regained his senses, Chiji had already disappeared into the center of the elves. After leaving, Chiji actually walked towards the direction of the German company building and found an overpass. What's even more amazing is that he opened his sleeping bag and spread it on the ground, actually sleeping on the overpass. After all, without money, we can only live like this. Fortunately, Chiji has the Huahong mobile stove, and even sleeping under the outdoor overpass while holding Huahong is not very cold. Huahong, please endure for a while. Tomorrow we will be developed, and today we will be like this. Good night. G.A., the next day, in the old place. Looking at the light red crystal in his hand, Chiji exclaimed in surprise. How could you, kid, even get this thing? The crystals in his hand are called energy blocks, which are exclusive food for elves developed and researched by the elf cultivator. The recipe for making energy blocks is to cultivate the family's eating fellow. Behind the birth of each energy cube lies countless failures and attempts by cultivators. During these processes, countless efforts and resources were expended. So the price of energy blocks is a beautiful number that embodies the results of hard work. What most people can buy are also mid to low dot end products. True big families have dedicated cultivators who tailor energy blocks. And the energy blocks that Dr. Oki gave him were all eaten by Junsha. 
Although we can only use this defective silver that we don't know where it came from, we are already thrilled to be able to continue with Chiji. Silver clasped his hands and leaned against a big tree, revealing a mature smile. Oh, what's this? My path, young master, is beyond the imagination of an outsider like you. Anyway, come along with me and I promise you'll be developed. Quan Hua kept staring at the energy block in Chiji's hand. It knew that Silver had put in a lot of effort to obtain these things from an extremely chaotic place. And now, Silver actually gave it to this red hat. Jik. Loto. You received a silver gift and got angry. Your favoritism rating is 0.69. Your relationship has declined to, a very annoying red hat, dot. Chiji looked at the energy block in his hand. It seems that the better my relationship with Silver, the worse my relationship with this sour carrot. What emotional addition and subtraction. Come on, Xiao Qi. Today is a good time to do big things again. Silver seems to possess an endless treasure map. The power of Changban allows him to communicate with the elves in the forest and obtain a lot of intelligence from them. And he himself has extraordinary vision. His gaze is as sharp as a bird spirit. After one experience, Chiji understood that there would be no problem following this kid. Shouldn't it be? Three days later, on the outskirts of the Orange Blossom Forest. A little dragon is jumping and spitting fire at the same time. Not far away, a trainer wearing a red hat is urging the other party. Great. Fire Red, grasp this feeling and gather elemental power while moving. Ga. The two being trained are naturally Chiji and Huahong. These days, with the help of the beggar's version of the everlasting power, Chiji and Huahong have been training tirelessly day and night. In the battle with Kairos, Chiji felt the limitations of releasing the fiery red skill. When exercising, it is difficult for it to release elemental skills such as sparks. So he began to exercise his ability to gather elemental strength while exercising during these days. But this dual-use technique is not so easy to master. Fortunately, the two of them together happen to have two hearts, which can be used as two hearts with similar intentions. One of them focuses on controlling movement, while the other focuses on brewing the condensation of elements. After three days of exercise, they gradually gain some entry-level feeling. Huahong can try jumping while using Spark. It's just that the power of Spark will decrease by about half, and it's difficult to demonstrate the mystery of relying on perception to drive Spark Spray. But such results can already amaze some experienced trainers. Seeing the results of the training, Qi Ji reached out and greeted. All right, let's take a break first. I'll help you recover your physical fitness. Ga. Huahong bounced and ran to Chiji. Chiji's hands pressed against the fiery red brain bag, and an extremely faint green light was released, transforming Chiji's spiritual power into energy and delivering it to the fiery red body. In addition to exercising fire infrared in the past few days, Chiji has also done two big tasks with Ian. The first vote is for daily forest resource collection. They teamed up to defeat a level 16 long-nosed leaf and collected a golden pillow fruit from the tree it guarded. According to the app, this thing has a puzzle effect, and I'm not sure if it's true the second vote is exciting. They had a fight with a group of snake-patterned bear thieves in the forest and seized a bunch of shiny loot from the opponent's lair. Most of these things are cheap glass products, but there are also a few types of jewelry. Chiji entrusted all these things to Silver for management, hoping to sell them for a good price and help them develop. As for the challenge to the Taoist Temple Kanaz Dojo is made of rocks, and the fiery red of fire is likely to be beaten with one's head. Although Chiji has the impulse to become a master of reverse attributes, reason tells him to be a normal person. He plans to become the Ten Mile Slope Sword God together with the automatic treasure hunter Silver in the Orange Blossom Forest, training Fire Red to become a fire-breathing dragon that can neither breathe fire nor be a dragon, and then starting to ravage vegetables. At this moment, Chiji sensed something. It's the breath of a peeper. Who is it? 
Come out. As soon as the words fell, a wild purple-haired lowly timidly walked out from behind a big tree, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Every Sick Girl Starts Cute You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 8 The Trainer is the Most Free Person You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 the trainer is the most free person during his speech, Shinji released his ace electric shock monster. Chiji's mouth tilted and he almost couldn't laugh out loud. How dare this stinky kid show off in front of him, even though he has an initial form of elf. Loto. Information scanning, target. Shinji's electric shock monster, level. 32, elemental affinity. Electricity 34, relationship. Red Hat Miscellaneous Fish, Social Advice With just one punch, you may die. Chiji's smile solidified at the corners of his mouth. Gone. Is this to cultivate immortality? Level 32, what a joke. Obviously, Shinji brought the constant stone to the electric shock monster, using the method of suppressing the evolution of elves to exercise their power. Cultivating elves for six years is not a joke. Upon seeing this scene, the campfire immediately jumped out and stood in front of the dumbfounded camel. Stop it. Adai is my friend, not a dangerous wild elf. Shinji waved his hand to pause the electric shock on the monster and asked calmly. Since it's your elf, then use your elf ball to subdue it. According to the regulations of the Elf Alliance, the criterion for determining whether it is wild is simple, which is whether there is elf ball control. Without the control of a Pokemon ball, there is no doubt that they are wild Pokemon. Alliance certified trainers can naturally execute missions to expel them. The production process of the Pokemon ball is a secret monopolized by the Alliance. According to rumors in the market, the spatial power inside the Pokemon ball seems to be related to the divine arcane continent. The lowest priced red and white balls are priced at 20,000 union coins per commoner in friendly stores. Very friendly. The daily wage of German company workers is 20 union coins. Obviously, a campfire cannot have that expensive thing. So Shinji said expressionlessly. It seems that you have no way to prove that it is not a wild elf. So I'm sorry, please don't hinder me from carrying out the task. The bonfire stood firmly in front of Adai, clearly more in love than Jin Jian. But Shinji didn't eat this trick. He signaled the electric shock monster to flash over the campfire and take action against the Hokaku. At this critical moment, a white light flashed by. In front of Shinji, Akashi subdued Adai and handed the elf ball to the bonfire. Take it, it's not a wild elf anymore. Shinji. Dot. The campfire was holding a Pokemon ball, so moved that it almost cried. Thank you. Thank you, big brother. Loto. Your behavior moved the bonfire. Your worship value plus 66. Your relationship has risen to, great, dot. After being stunned for a while, Shinji finally came to his senses. He didn't expect the other party to still have this skill. But soon, Shinji regained his usual cold face and said coldly. Try to be clever. But I advise you not to do so. Each Pokemon ball has a unique number, purchased as a trainer. If it appears in the hands of a commoner. Humph, do you want her to go to jail for theft? The Pokemon balls in Chiji's hand are all cheap Pokemon balls given to him by Dr. Oki. Purchasing Pake Ball as a trainer can enjoy a 10% discount on a certain quantity. But each Pake Ball has a numbered binding, giving it to others is illegal. Chiji gave a slightly stern smile. Hey! I just tamed a silly fire camel and asked this little sister to help me take care of it, don't you agree? At this moment, Chiji exuded a sense of freedom from top to bottom. Faced with a free trainer like Chichi, Shinji could only shake his head and say. Red Riding Hood, it seems like you haven't figured out the situation. 
What I'm doing is just to make this little ghost realize reality. Your useless kindness is just leading people astray. Speaking, Shinji said to the bonfire. When it comes to being a trainer, this unrealistic thing is too far away for you. Just live a down dot to dot earth life like your parents. Effort must be built on the foundation of capital in order to be meaningful, otherwise it will just be empty-handed. A trainer is the most noble person in the world, not everyone can be a trainer. People like you from your background cannot even obtain a trainer qualification certificate, let alone become a professional trainer through a tour. Shinji's realistic education made the bonfire very sad. Turns out I can't be a trainer myself pop. At this moment, Chi Ji held on to the campfire shoulder and said with rare solemnity. Being a trainer doesn't require any qualifications. Without a qualification certificate, you're not a trainer anymore. Shinji remained calm on his face and imitated Chi Ji's tone, responding as he said. Oh. Mr. Bu Zhongyong from Guandu, what advice do you have? Chi Ji tilted the red hat on his head and remained steadfast. The trainer is the freest person in this world. As long as one can pass on their thoughts to the elves, anyone can be a trainer. Lato Shinji was slightly stunned. He clenched his fist as if he remembered something but then Shinji coldly replied. Humph, what's the point of saying it well? You're a freelance trainer and your level can't even pass a gym. It's useless for someone without strength to say anything. Chiji and Huahong exchanged a glance. Huahong suddenly felt an unprecedented heat. Warfare. Chiji's eyes are burning with war intent. Ga. Huahong suddenly nodded and jumped out fiercely. Chiji pointed fiercely at Shinji and said. Since that's the case, let me show you the results of my three months as a trainer. Shinji widened his eyes slightly, seeming somewhat surprised. Three months. For trainers, three months is too short to even get started. Just three months after becoming a trainer, came to the great parade to see him off. And the bonfire was even more surprised. Big Brother only trained for three months without too many expressions, Shinji responded to Akashi's challenge with an equally belligerent gaze. Okay, then let me see what Mr. Guan Du, who is not useful, can do. Orange Blossom Forest, Akashi and Shinji have engaged in their first battle. Little Fire Dragon vs. Electric Shock Monster Although they were only two initial forms of elves, they stirred up a terrifying war spirit like the final form of elves in the air. At this moment of intense fighting, the campfire shrank behind the big tree and watched from afar. The terrifying aura made her want to avoid, but her longing for a trainer made the bonfire involuntarily stop and watch. This is a real competition between trainers. In silence, the Fire Red and the Electric Shock Monster have engaged in battle. Fire Red Rate Advanced Attack It rubs its belly frantically, and the fire elements between heaven and earth condense in its mouth, transforming into a fiery serpent that sprays away. The Secret Spark Spray A distance of tens of meters is approaching in an instant. The surging sparks shot the electric shock monster in the face. It had no expectation that this thing could shoot so far. Shinji's gaze twitched slightly. This move is definitely not spray flame, because this talent skill is not something that the opponent's level may awaken, and its power cannot be so powerful. It is the mystery of spark transformation. Shinji, with a sharp gaze, could see through both reality and emptiness at a glance. Although he was somewhat surprised, he remained calm. Humph. What can a flame of this level do? It's meaningless, electric shock monster, get rid of it for me. I saw the electric shock monster's body extremely agile, surrounded by golden arcs, and terrifying electrical crackling sounds, forming an electrical circulation around it. It's incredibly fast, jumping wildly towards the fiery red. This is, auspicious, electric propulsion. Electrical propulsion is a mystery evolved from the innate skill electric ball. 
The original electric ball was formed by wrapping itself with lightning elements to form an electric ball, which collided directly with the opponent's body. But Shinji improved on the original foundation by using the power of electric current to push his body, making the lightning monsters already extremely fast speed even faster. This is a very advanced technique, enough to show that this electric shock monster is not an ordinary one. In the blink of an eye, the electric shock monster killed in front of Huahong. Chiji is concentrating and shouting in his heart. App helps me. Lodum immediately activated the intracranial current, activating Chiji's spiritual potential. Lato. Battle mode has been activated. In an instant, Qi Ji's reaction became rapid, transmitting the attack trajectory of the electric shock monster to Huo Hong through his mind. Huo Hong is like turning on automatic movement, always able to dodge electric shock monster attacks with precise movement. Shinji even noticed that this little dragon was accumulating firepower while dodging attacks. This is the ultimate skill of Qi Ji and Huo Hong. Two hearts and two delights. Fire red. Do you feel my power? Let's increase our firepower. Driven by the burning thoughts in Chiji's heart, Huahong sensed a wave of burning thoughts crashing into her heart. This is anger. Chiji is accumulating anger in his heart. The fiery red immediately injected this passionate realization into the sparks, spraying fiercely at the face of the electric shock monster. The secret sparks bloom. The meaning of anger makes the fire element boil up, and the killing power of sparks increases wildly with anger. Lato. The fiery red has sensed your thoughts and comprehended the mysterious spark blooming dot. Ha! Huh, the angry flames surging on the electric shock monster left a scorching mark on its body. Sparks are exploding and taking effect. But the next moment, the electric shock monster suddenly increased in speed and launched an attack that even Chiji couldn't catch. Natural Skill Thunderbolt Fist In an instant, there was a crackling sound on Huahong's body, and her eyes turned white on the spot, causing her body to twitch uncontrollably. Chiji suddenly woke up from a dream and realized that the true level of this electric shock monster seemed to be able to instantly capture his without mercy, the electric shock monster, who had begun a serious battle, swung its arm away again. In that moment of lightning and flint, a white beam of light flashed by, and the fiery red figure disappeared from under the claw arm of the electric shock monster. Bring Hua Hong into the Pokemon ball, and give up the tough words of Qi Ji who loses without losing. You're ruthless. But don't be too proud. Just give me another three months and I'll be able to defeat you. Having finished his sophistry, Chiji quickly ran towards the elf center in Kanaz City with the Pake Ball. Shinji glanced at his electric shock monster, and the flame indeed left a mark, causing damage to the electric shock monster. He stared at the scar and then closed his eyes. Loto. Your battle left an impression on Shinji, and your relationship turned into a useless silly hat. The campfire hidden behind the big tree, with starry eyes, has regained the confidence to become a trainer. After watching this battle, she believed that what this big brother wearing a red hat said was true. End of this chapter Chapter 9 External cooling and internal heat are the standard configuration for powerful enemies. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 9 External cooling and internal heat are the standard configuration for powerful enemies, please help me treat my little dragon. Chiji returned to the elf center and urgently made an anxious request. Huo Hong was electrocuted by the monster's punch, causing his head to explode and his eyes to turn white. This degree of injury doesn't look like spraying some medicine or just sleeping at night Miss Joey at the front desk showed a standard business smile and followed the routine. You are a trainer from the Guandu Alliance. So please prepay 3000 Alliance coins for medical expenses first. We will refund more or compensate less according to the medical situation in the future. 3000. Chiji only has 800 warriors on hand now, where did he get a 3000 strong army? He trembled and said. Can I have credit? 
Um, alone. Miss Joey smiled silently. Sorry, we are currently not open to elf loan for non-local citizens of Fangyuan. Chiji was surprised. I just casually asked, but I didn't expect there really to be this damn thing called elf loan. At this critical moment, the headache-inducing voice rang out again. Poor thing, can't you even afford medical expenses? As we are all outsiders, let me cushion it for you. It's him. It's Shinji. Although Chiji wanted to say in his heart, I don't need charity from people like you, he just opened his mouth. Miss Joey. What are you still waiting for? The money is all in place. Hurry up and treat my elf. After entering the emergency room, Shinji said coldly. Did you see that? Without money, you can't even heal the injuries of the elves. How can you become a trainer? This is the gap in resources. People with the Alliance's legitimate trainer qualification certificate can enjoy free medical services at the local elf center. They can freely train their elves through battles without worrying about the consequences of the battle. And those civilians can't even afford medical expenses, and if they're not careful, the elves will leave behind a bunch of sequelae. Despite being educated by reality, Chiji still spoke hard. Humph, I will repay you ten times your money. Shinji collected his leather bag and walked straight away from the road. I think you can use the victory in three months to repay it. By the way, don't tell me you haven't even received the emblem of the Kanaz Pavilion then. Dot. Looking at the distant figure of the other person, Chi Ji was speechless. At that time, he was just saying this to help the bonfire regain its confidence, and casually spoke out. I didn't believe what he said, but the other person actually took it seriously during the hospitalization in Huohong, an unexpected visitor surprised Chi Ji quite a bit. Hey! Bonfire! How did you find this place? I saw purple-haired Loli sneaking in quietly. Because after the trainer's elves are injured, they all come to the elf center, so I'll sneak in and take a look. Big brother, you guys are indeed here. Looking at the fiery red corpses hanging like dead pigs on the hospital bed, Chi Ji touched his head and awkwardly said. Cough, although we narrowly lost, you have to believe that as long as we work hard, we will definitely become stronger. We have a relatively short starting time and there is still room for improvement. The bonfire revealed its starry eyes and shook its head. No way. Big brother, you are already very skilled. If I could be as skilled as you, I would definitely become a great trainer. Big brother, can you be my teacher? Teacher. Hee <laughs> hee, of course not a problem. Amidst laughter and conversation, Chiji easily violated the Alliance's rules. In the Alliance, only Daoguan and Elf Academy can teach trainer skills. If you spread trainers privately, the crime is similar to training soldiers without permission. Actually, Chiji didn't mean to act like an outsider as a newcomer, he is actually not very clear about the rules and regulations of the Alliance. Due to cognitive and conceptual reasons, he will easily break the rules for things that the Alliance does not allow. Although he is a wanderer, Chiji has great confidence in his teaching level. Well, maybe Huahong gave him confidence the campfire exclaimed excitedly. Great. Brother Chiji, you're so kind. Loto. Your relationship with the bonfire has risen to, really good, dot. During the conversation, Huahong gradually woke up. The flames on its tail are no longer wilting, but are raging with fighting spirit. Gah! Touching his fiery red head, Chiji felt a bit heartbroken. Because of my momentary impulsiveness, my good friend was punched like a dead pig and Hua Hong feels self-blame for her failure. If she were even stronger, she wouldn't let Chiji bear a 100% PvP failure rate for a moment, the two of them sympathized with each other, showing affection and making the campfire blush and turn red this. This is when handling the discharge procedures, Chiji received a refund of over 1,000 Union coins. In the elf world, the purchasing power of alliance coins is still acceptable, not like adding zero to island coins, 
but rather similar to the purchasing power of Tianlong coins before their flood. A thousand union coins can cover the monthly expenses of a commoner's family of three. Brother Chiji, do you live in the elf center? How will I find you in the future? The words of the bonfire choked Chi Ji. Where can he afford to live in the elf center for a pig killing price of 300 yuan per day? Do you think you live near the German company building? Looking at Chi Ji's expression, it seemed that the bonfire had sensed something, and he smiled. Brother Chi Ji, if you don't mind, please stay at my house for now so that I can easily find you. Upon hearing these words, Chi Ji couldn't help but feel emotional. How clever this little girl is. Although it was a bit embarrassing to live with a young girl she had just met, Chi Ji realized that there was nothing embarrassing about the teacher staying with the students. At least there was no need to sleep on the overpass like this, so Chi Ji stayed at the bonfire house temporarily at night. Stepping out of the elf center and walking for over half an hour to reach the outskirts, their family of three were squeezed into a house of less than 50 square meters. Although the Daihua camel sounds like a camel and looks slimmer and bigger than a horse, it is actually less than one meter tall, weighing only a few tens of pounds. Its body size is similar to that of a big dog, and it is not a problem to live with a person. It's over eight o'clock now, and the parents of the bonfire haven't finished work yet. The two of them sat in front of the TV watching evening programs. What is playing on TV is a program called Fang Yuan Rule of Law. The Fire Rock team of Fang Yuan's most evil spirit thief group frequently appears near Yentu Mountain today. Residents nearby are advised to be more vigilant and contact Miss Jun Sha immediately if suspicious individuals wearing red uniforms are found. Recently, there have been criminals who stole and smuggled from the Guandu area to the Fang Yuan area. Please contact Miss Jun Sha immediately if you see the following picture Chi Ji, who was massaging Huhong, heard that it was a friend from his hometown and looked up curiously. The result was, hmm. This red hair looks so familiar to me. Gone. Isn't that the silver guy? Chi Ji curled his lips and realized that although the trainer privileges of each alliance were not shared, the wanted warrant was still shared click, as the two watched the TV program the door quietly opened. Ah! Bonfire, this! Who is this? Seeing the young man in the red hat caressing the orange-red lizard on the sofa, the mother of the campfire looked surprised. Upon hearing the sound, Chi Ji looked up and saw that the mother of the bonfire was a middle-aged woman with deep eye lines, looking exhausted. Loto. Information scanning, target. Mother of bonfire, relationship. Social suggestion. It's better to explain this situation first. Faced with his aunt's inquiry, Chi Ji was already prepared. He showed off his trainer qualification certificate and smiled calmly. I am Chi Ji, a pilgrim from the Guandu region. I have a good connection with the bonfire. I will stay here temporarily to guide this child, won't I cause you any trouble? Upon hearing these words, the mother of the bonfire was immediately surprised and delighted. In the blink of an eye, their relationship changed to that of a benefactor descending from heaven. In the eyes of a commoner like her, those trainers are all down dot to dot earth masters. It is their honor to be willing to humbly stay in their own homes for the time being. Oh my, master trainer, what you're saying is that the bonfire kid didn't cause you any trouble, did he? Chi Ji said half politely and half truthfully. Where and where, Bonfire is quite talented for her, and she is very likely to become a trainer in the future. I will do my best to guide her during my time here. The mother of the Bonfire was momentarily stunned and felt like she was completely dreaming. Their family moved over from Yenta Mountain, and their biggest expectation is that their daughter can find a good family to marry in Kanaz City and settle down here from then on. At that time, this silly fire camel was brought over by her daughter because she couldn't resist it, so that she could have a playmate. She never dared to think that her daughter could one day become a noble trainer. The bonfire looked worried when it saw its mother coming back alone. Mom, is dad working overtime again? With a tired smile on her face, the bonfire mother said. 
Yeah, the factory has been busy again recently. He often has to work overtime now. You go to bed first. It was not until late at night, when Chiji had already fallen asleep, that the father of the bonfire returned. He worked overtime at the German company's factory until early morning, and when he returned home, he fell asleep in a daze, not even noticing that there was an extra person at home seeing the father of the bonfire fighting so hard, Chi Ji couldn't help but sweat. He vaguely saw the shadow of his past life from the other person as the pillar of the family, the father always silently bears a lot of responsibilities. The next morning, Chi Ji led a bonfire to fight outside the Orange Blossom Forest, helping her with the introductory training of the elf trainer. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Awaken Strange Things, Seeking Follow-Up You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Awaken Strange Things, Seeking Follow-Up, Remember Treat the elves with care and strengthen your understanding with bonds. Bonds are your strongest strength. Due to Dr. Oji only providing a cheap three-piece set of cheesy elf balls, illustrated books, and qualification certificates, he did not mention a word about how to train elves. So Chiji relied entirely on his own insights, provided guidance to the bonfire in a concise manner, and immediately began to train his combat skills through practical combat. Come on. Use all your strength to drive your elf, let it feel your heart, and fight alongside you. The bonfire nodded vigorously and gave a soft scolding. Damn it, we're going to start the special training. Stupid. Faced with weaker opponents than himself, Chiji had to carefully control his strength. Pay attention to the position of this claw and use prediction to make up for the speed difference. Fire Red, can you slow down your paw and faint? Be careful, getting hit by fire is not just for fun, be careful to feel the elemental fluctuations on your opponent's body. Fire Red, pay attention to controlling the power of the fire element, don't really spray. Accelerate your reaction. Accelerate your speed. Strengthen communication. You have slow judgment, elves procrastination, and weak understanding. Can you avoid this blow? Control fire. Control fire. Control fire. Control fire. Control fire. Control fire. Burning red, panting and sweating profusely, I feel like I've never been so tired before. For the first time in its life, it has been subjected to such strong suppression. Previously, it had been using all its means, letting go and fighting to kill. But at this moment, Chiji suddenly issued so many constraint commands to it, and this feeling of being bound was as oppressive as being bound. Its deep nature inside its body strongly dislikes this kind of restraint, and a strong impulse makes it want to slap the fool in front of it. But it's very contradictory because this constraint was given by Qi Ji, and Hua Hong really likes everything Qi Ji gives, giving it a feeling that goes against its nature getting a strange pleasure in bondage. This is a strange feeling. As if opening the door to a new world, Hua Hong vaguely found the way to control her power in this strange feeling suppress one's own nature with strong bonds, tame oneself within the constraints, and make power no longer primitive beasts, able to be driven freely like tamed beasts. Gradually finding that sense of self.Restraint, Hua Hong began to become adept at controlling her own strength after practicing for an afternoon, both Qi Ji and Bonfire were sweating profusely and panting uncontrollably due to their high concentration. The Daihua camel was also exhausted, with a drooping head. Only Hua Hong seems to have endless strength, and after intense exercise all afternoon, my whole body is still full of energy. When a person can feel happiness from something, they will spontaneously push themselves to do that thing. This is the internal drive. Lotto. As a gift, there is a lingering fragrance in the hands of roses, and the fiery red unlocks, wonderful insights, dot. Wonderful insights. Feeling an unusually happy and fiery mood, Qi Ji wiped away a sweat. Hua Hong, you seem to be very happy. Sure enough. You should have realized the true meaning of helping others. While guiding others to grow, you will also reap happiness for yourself. You are already a mature and good teacher. 
Hua Hong covered her big head with her claws, looking twisted and pinched. Qi Ji touched the red hair on its head and laughed happily, thinking that Hua Hong was too embarrassed to be praised by himself. It has been proven that the stupidest mistake humans make is thinking they can understand others. Even if two people share the same intention, it is impossible to fully understand each other, just to feel each other. Using this self-righteous feeling and understanding of others can make the story unfold unexpectedly shu shu shu, suddenly, Qi Ji heard a familiar whistle. His face changed slightly and he said to the bonfire. Um. You go back first, I have something to do. The bonfire didn't ask much and immediately left obediently with the idiot. After the other party left, a red-haired young man immediately appeared in front of Qi Ji. Yin seemed to know everything in the entire forest like the palm of his hand, patting Qi Ji's shoulder and saying. I heard that you recently had a battle with a trainer from the league and were taken to the hospital by someone. Hee hee, although I also see them unhappy, the current situation is still a bit low. Key. We need time to develop. Qi Ji is speechless, who said all this news to. Although there were only three people present, it shouldn't be the proud swallow passing by, right? Loto. Silver appreciates your behavior very much. Favorite rating plus 66. Your relationship has risen to brother with seed. Dot. Stop talking about this, there happened to be a big ticket today. Come with me now. After walking through the forest with Silver for a while, they arrived at a clearing in the forest. A group of wild elves are gathering here. In the center of the clearing, a withered tree was hanging an oversized purple berry. Glancing at Lotto. Identified as, blackberry fruit, dot. Astringent fruit is a material for beauty and skin care beauty and skin care. Chi Ji smiled. Hang a hook on these four words, isn't that a lot of money for the tickets? But as he carefully observed the elves on the empty ground, the smile on Chi Ji's face gradually disappeared 16 level curly ears. 18 level poisonous rose. Sweet fireflies at level 17. None of these elves are easy to deal with. Silver is also under a lot of pressure, and he is secretly scheming. Damn it, I heard that proud swallow say that there is only one poisonous rose and curly ear competing for the tree fruit here. How come there are so many elves all at once? Xiao Qi, let's wait for them to fight first before we can reap the benefits. But after looking for a while, Qi Ji felt that these elves didn't seem to be fighting. What's going on? These guys' behavior is a bit strange, like they're engaging in some kind of social activity. Ian squinted his eyes and listened for a while, then a strange smile appeared on his face. What, it's actually a beauty pageant. These guys seem to be planning to use their gorgeous performances to determine the ownership of this tree fruit. As he spoke, the rolled-up ear had already jumped up and down on the empty ground, as if dancing a rabbit dance after observing for a while, Chi Ji suddenly had an idea this book is about to be renamed, I Lost Connection in the Elf World. Please be familiar with it in advance, end of this chapter.